Well, this is our devotional for October 20. And in the book of James, just one verse from chapter 1, verse 21, listen to these words and let God speak to your heart. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. This, this is kind of a kind of out with the bad, in with the good passage. It's, it's kind of a tr- make, make a trade here. So listen to what the passage says. It says, get rid of all moral filth and evil that's prevalent, that's common. You know, get, get that out. Root it out. Get rid of it. And then the other side said, humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. So let, let's just take a moment and look at this passage. It's interesting. In this one verse, I see at least four distinct concepts. First, get rid of, root out, tear out of your life all moral filth. So here's my question. What's the moral filth in your life? I don't know what it is for you. But I know that if I do this, if I say, God, I quiet my heart and I listen, what are things that, that, that I'm letting into my heart that are not moral, that don't honor you, that are filthy? That, there's plenty of stuff flowing in our world that if we kind of open our eyes, our minds, our hearts to those things, it kind of flows right in. And some of it just seems normative in our culture. The Bible says, get rid of that. Root it out. You answer that question for yourself. A, a lot of the shows that we, that we watch that... that would used to have been objectionable, aren't objectionable anymore, not because uh, what's morally good or bad has changed, but because what's acceptable and common has changed. So ask yourself, am I letting things flow in that don't honor God? Second, dump out the evil things that are prevalent. That word prevalent really just talks about that they're just always there, always there, kind of knocking on your door, tapping on, tapping on your heart. Can I come in? Can I, can I visit? Can I, can I stay for a week or a month or the rest of your life? And so look and say, man, those things that are prevalent, the, the, the things in our world that are, that are happening, that are prevalent, but we go, but that's evil, that's wrong. Just because something's acceptable doesn't mean it's acceptable to God. It could be acceptable to our culture and still be very, very wrong. So how do we get rid of those things in our life? And then the antidote is here. Accept the word planted in you. Be receptive to the seeds of Scripture. Just listening to this devotional right now, just taking time to, to hear God's word and to reflect on this is part of what, what God can use to kind of flush out the junk within our hearts. And then at the very end of that verse, it says, which can save you. This is not salvation by works. It's not saying, okay, if you root out bad things and if you read the Bible, you're saved. We're saved by the grace of God revealed in Jesus Christ when we accept his forgiveness, his death on the cross, his resurrection, when we take his hand and walk with him. Our salvation is knowing, receiving, and walking with Jesus. But there is something about letting Scripture fill us, following what it says, living it out, that kind of flushes out the junk in our lives, that can save us from misery, from impure thoughts, from broken relationships. And there's all kinds of broken relationships and and even broken marriages because people have, have allowed pornography and different things to kind of fill their hearts, their minds, and all of a sudden their relationships start to break up. And, and, and so there you say, well, God can save you from that. He can save you from destroying your marriage. He can save you from bad decisions. So, so here's the encouragement today. Plant the seeds of God's word deep in your heart. Open this book on a daily basis. Read it. Learn from it. And, and we're going to hear James say, uh, as we continue on, and live out what it says. Let it transform your life. God, this is our prayer today, that your word would be powerful in our lives, that we would plant the seeds of Scripture in our minds, in our hearts, in our lives, in growing measure with each passing day. Lord, help us to root out, to to kind of flush out, to purge out the stuff that the world might say is fine, but that you say is not helpful at all for our spiritual growth. And help us become more and more like Jesus with each passing day. We pray this in his name. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week. And if you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you either online or on campus this Sunday morning, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. God bless you. Have a great day.